This is JMU Today, James Madison University's local source for news. Time for JMU Today Sports. I'm Taylor McElberry. The JMU men's basketball team has won two in a row after starting the season one and five. They played in-state rival Richmond tonight in their fourth game at the Convo in a row. Start out in the first half with Andre Nation. Gets the dish from Ron Curry. 14-7 JMU Nation was three of four in field goals and had eight points tonight. Later in the first half, A.J. Davis will drive inside the paint and dunk it down. JMU leads 23-16, and he finished with 13. Later now in the second half, Andre Seminoff for three, pulls JMU back within one, 60-59, and Seminoff had 18 tonight. The game would go to free throws, and Cedric Lindsay will tie it at 73. We go to overtime, where Richmond takes the lead, thanks to Derek Williams, makes it 82-78. Richmond, JMU with a last-ditch effort at the end of the game. Moore gets it out to Davis for three, but it will bounce out, and JMU loses 83-82. After Matt Brady talks about what Richmond's defense did to make it so tough on JMU. Well, you know, I thought for the most part our shot selection was good. We shared the basketball. Uh, they just make you do some things you don't really want to do. Um, you know, but, but, you know, again, I would just give Richmond all the credit in the world. They, they played better. JMU takes a break this week for finals. They play their last of five home games at the Convo against UNC Greensboro on Sunday. The JMU women's basketball team returned from the Thanksgiving tournament in Mexico with some big W's, but in their only game since coming back, they lost to Richmond by four. They had a different in-state rival tonight in Liberty. We'll start out in the first half with Kirby Burkholder. 2-0 JMU until she hits this three. It's 5-0 JMU early in the first half. Burkholder would finish with nine. Later, Liberty's Reagan Miller will stop and pop for three. Ties the game at 14 as we head through the first half. Later, still in the first, and Kanita Shepard in the paint. She'll turn and put it in for two. Liberty still leads 21-19 at this point. We go to the second half. Devin Brown in the paint on the dish from Frazier, and Brown will put it in. She led all scores tonight with 22, but Liberty beats JMU 60-48. And in that loss to Liberty, Tariq Hislop finished with 12 points. She has been named ESPN's National Basketball Player of the Week earlier in the season. JMU Today's Indy Cleveland shows us how she has gotten a lot of attention all while playing a different position than she came here for. Senior Tariq Hislop has more than one job on the court since she's moved from shooting guard but has spent a little time back at shooting guard when Micken has come in. For JMU Today, I'm Emmy Cleveland. Hislop is currently tied for top scorer in the CAA. as She averages 18 points per game. She and the Dukes will be back in action again on December 21st at home against American. Well, the Sports Network announced today that JMU football players Earl Watford and Stefan Robertson are all Americans. Watford was a first team selection and Robertson was a second team pick. Watford blocked on a line that helped Daquan Scott average 86.6 yards per game, the third highest in the CAA. Robertson led the team with 101 tackles in 2012 and had double-digit tackles in six games this season. Former NFL Commissioner Paul Tagliabue sided with the four players suspended in the New Orleans Saints bounty scandal today. Jonathan Vilma, Anthony Hargrove, Will Smith, and Scott Fajita had their suspensions overturned. The four were accused of taking incentives to hurt opposing players from 2009 to 2011 while they played for the Saints. Tagliabue said that he could not determine if the bounties were made seriously. However, he did still accuse the Saints organization of allowing that program to happen. And after an emotional win on Sunday over the Cincinnati Bengals, the Dallas Cowboys returned to Texas today to pay tribute to the teammate who was killed in a car accident on Saturday. The team held a private memorial service to honor Jerry Brown Jr., a practice squad linebacker. Brown was killed Saturday when the car he was traveling in flipped over and caught fire. Police say that Brown's teammate Josh Brent was driving the car when it crashed. Brent attended the service yesterday at the request of Brown's mother, who flew in from St. Louis for the service. For JMU Today Sports, I'm Taylor McBurray. We'll see you again tomorrow.